Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I cannot believe I just said that. The last video is literally two years ago. So this is really exciting for me. <laughs> um, okay, so today's video, let's just get to the point. Today's video, I am partnering up with Minted Cosmetics and we are gonna go over different ways we can powder our face. This is a loose setting powder by Minted Cosmetics and they have three different colors. This one is light tan, medium deep, deep rich. So for today's video, I'm gonna be using these two colors. Mostly this light tan one, um, but I'm gonna dip into this one just to show you guys how to contour and things like that with a loose powder. So one of the ways that you can use this loose setting powder is before your foundation. Basically set your primer before foundation. You can apply it straight on to your primed skin. Now what this does is it kind of serves as a barrier between your skin and the foundation that you'll be applying and it will thicken up your foundation. So if you don't want that much coverage, you can skip this step. But this is one of the ways that you can wear your powder. It's like setting in reverse. You're basically setting your face first instead of setting your face last. Now, obviously you can also set your face later, but this is a nice way to kind of skip setting your face later. Um, if you don't wanna look very powdery, if you don't wanna look too matte, but you still want your foundation to last really long, this is a great step. All right, so now that I've blend out all the powders, I'm gonna go in with my foundation. If you want your foundation to be super thick and like heavy coverage, you can use a matte one, but just know that because the powder is already on your skin, it's going to thicken your formula. So if you use a stick foundation or something like that, like a super matte foundation, you're gonna get a really heavy coverage and sometimes you don't want that, so just beware. I don't have the smoothest skin, so I really love how this makes my foundation wear. And this is a great step for those people who don't want to powder at the end of their makeup routine because you powdered before, so your makeup's gonna last and it's gonna stay and it's not gonna move anywhere. I'm gonna skip concealing my forehead just because I have these 11s right here. If I put too much foundation or concealer here, I feel like it makes my 11s a little bit deeper. All right, so my face definitely feels very matte. Since I already powdered before foundation, I'm gonna do a very light layer. I love how this powder doesn't make you look cakey because when you powder too much, you guys, you'll look cakey. And I love how fine this powder is. It just makes you look very airbrushed. So I'm just gonna go in with the second color. This is the medium deep setting powder and I'm gonna go ahead and bronze lightly with this color. This is gonna give me a super natural sun-kissed look. Look how natural that looks. I love bronzing my face with powder. It kind of just blended in and it makes me look like I have that natural bronzy glow. All right, so now going in with the actual bronzer by Mented, I can carve out my cheekbones without it looking super harsh. Now we can go in and fine tune the contour. I'm gonna go back in with the light tan color and I'm going to carve out my cheeks. I'm gonna take a small fluffy angle brush on the medium deep powder and I'm gonna go ahead and lightly, lightly contour my nose as I'm dusting off that powder. Bronzing and contouring with the loose setting powder gives you such a soft finish. There's no harsh lines. Everything just blends in together. Before I add gloss, I'm gonna go ahead and finalize my lips. I'm gonna take a little bit of this powder again. 
All right, I'm gonna clean my lip liner with a little bit of powder. Just a little bit on the edges. And then I'm using my finger just to blend it into the skin. I'm gonna to top off my makeup with a better setter. I think my baby's crying. Ah, I gotta finish, okay. All right, you guys, and this is my complete look. My skin looks incredible, I think. What do you guys think? I love using the darker setting powder to bronze my skin. I think that makes it look super blended and beautiful. Blends everything so well. There's no harsh lines. And I'm so happy to be back. I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.